Welcome to the Respect the Ghost podcast. We're here every Tuesday, 6 p.m. Some of the greatest debates, current events, intelligent perspectives. we in the building, man. we here, live podcast. Anybody can join, hear your opinion. We only got a couple rules. We respect everybody's opinion. We do let them curses go every now and then, but we do not curse at each other. I'm the greatest debater, CEO P, and I'm going to pass it to our host with the most praise. Spalls, take it away. How you living, Spalls? How you feeling, my brother? I'm good. I'm good, man. You already know what it is, man. The chicken with the rice and the rice with the chicken, man. Hit me with that flavor, the best debater. Ain't got time for no Mr. Rebuttals. Where Double XL welcome this room. Shout out Pinky Ring, my man Phrase in the building, CEO P. What up? All right, fellas, we got a packed schedule. I don't know if we're going to touch it all, but P just hit me with a wrench. I ain't know nothing about Yeezy. What's going on with Yeezy? He back? That's where you want to go? Bruh, he back? That's where you starting? That's where you start? Nah. Nah, I'm just saying, like it. That's we got. We need some more heads for that, man. But I'm saying he back. Yeah, he back, bro. Yeah, he back. All right, nah. Let's start with Bronny James. That's crazy. I, my my wife told me about that. Um, you know what I'm saying, and I feel like that might impact LeBron a little bit and some and some other things. I feel like that's shocking. So let, let's 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 start with Bronny. Um, for y'all who hey Spurs Spurs, take that one away because you posted that one. Tell us what's going on with Bronny, man. I mean, you know, um, came across a post. Uh, they haven't really done my research in it, um, but I did see a couple of other people posting about it and, you know, sending their thoughts and prayers into the situation of what's going on with Bronny. Apparently, um, at this time, they believe that he did go into cardiac arrest, which I believe at this time that he also has come through that situation uh but it's a very unfortunate situation um a young man that's so young and so promising as an athlete um and he and and, and this so tragically just to happen but you know he's still here so you know i think great things come from people that go through certain things and um i'm still looking forward to seeing him get back on the basketball court Where where did this happen? At a work at a practice or something, right? A workout? Uh, it looked like it was a practice. Not actually sure. I don't have all the facts, but it does look like it was a practice. Yeah, I think it was. Um, I think it was he was having practice at the uh, whatever team he committed to. What USC? It was like a little bit before nine nine thirty, something like that. And so, like, yeah, it's just. That's, I don't know, that's scary. I'm saying it as, as his dad, I already know he wanted to play with him. So, yeah, that's just, that's just a wild situation. Prayers definitely go to him and his family. Double XL, what's good? You, you heard anything about the Bronny situation? Yep. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Yeah. Yes, sir. I can hear you loud and clear. Uh, nothing other than the um, incident that uh, happened. I, I haven't heard anything else. I just think it's, um, I don't know what's going on because we seem like, seems like there's more of it going on with younger guys than it used to be. I, I don't know what, what that's about. Yeah, it's a very unfortunate situation, man, especially for a young man that's so healthy and so young and full of life and, you know, the athlete that he is and, you know, not, you know, because none of us right now have the facts. We're still waiting on that. But it's just, it's a situation where, you know, you, you can't really wrap your head around it. But, you know, like I said, man, my prayers and thoughts, you know, coming from respect to both, we are sending our prayers and our thoughts. And, you know, we, we, we continue to pray and, you know, wish to see you in the future. Thanks. Hey, why, hey, hey, Spurs, man, why we 
giving out prayers and condolences, man. Let's do the same thing for uh, Gilly's son, Cheese, man. Lost his life last week. Unfortunate uh, shooting in uh, Philadelphia. No question. Nothing but much respect and love. Um, very tragic situation in the city of Philadelphia, losing a brother. Uh, it's, it's, it's very, very crazy out here. I, I don't. I don't know what's going on, and I know my man Fray's got something to talk about when we get to that topic, and uh, maybe we can wrap our heads around this as a unit. You know, uh, everybody' opinion does count in this room. I do want you guys to know that. P already let you know we do discuss and we talk to each other, but we never cuss at each other. However, Double XL is the biggest rebuttaler in here, and therefore. I'm going to continue to let Grace do what he do and open it up with another subject. All right. Before we get into some uh, some hitters, we gotta we gotta we gotta get into some comedy real quick. How y'all feeling after y'all heard about this girl Carly Russell? Y'all know what's going on with that. One more time. How y'all how y'all feel about Carly Russell? Y'all know what's going on Go ahead, with that. Give her, you got. We got to give them the backstory, phrase, in case somebody listen to the podcast might not know who you're talking about. All right. So, Carly, she was in Alabama. She called 911, said that she seen a toddler walking on the side of the road. Said that this baby ain't have on no pants, just a shirt. I'm scared. You know, someone come, please help. Police come. She's nowhere to be found. ID, phone, all left in the car. That's the first thing that we hear about it. Next thing that we hear about it, some video footage came out. She busting at least 20 on the side of the freeway saying that she's following the baby. No baby walks that fast. But nonetheless, you watched it. Well, you watch it and you come to your own opinion. But with that being said, she makes a statement shortly after she's found or... She comes out of the wood and goes to a parent's house. She's missing for about two days at this point. No one knows what's happening because she doesn't want to make a statement. Fast forward a little bit. More information comes out, says that she was stealing toilet paper and stuff from the job. The day of, she packed that in the car when she left work. She was Googling, taking Amber Alerts. Do you got to pay for Amber Alerts? All this in the Google history. She doesn't want to make. She don't want to make another statement. Another thing comes out. She finally makes a statement. She's saying. I wasn't abducted. Nothing happened. There was no man. There was no baby. I made it all up. Please pray for me and my family. Yeah. We lost on a still a toilet paper part. That's all I heard was she stole toilet paper, bro. Nobody else heard me? No, 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 no. I'm she, she, now. Like, I'm... she faked an abduction. She faked an abduction. So the toilet paper was playing because she knows she was going to be squatting for work for a minute. Yeah, so she took the good. toilet paper. Let me tell you, I'm going to say exactly what this is, guys. I'm going to say exactly what it is. I'm going to put a little sauce on this chicken and rice today. If this ain't, if this this ain't, I'm trying to get a GoFundMe face ass, whatever her first name, last name is, because that's what it was. She she thought she was probably going to get her a GoFundMe cash out, pop back up. I don't know what, I don't know what, that's the only thing I could think of. I don't, what would make you just want to, Yeah, that, that that whole situation is weird, man. I, I, I would love to know her motive. We probably never know what her motive is. Why do anybody do anything, though? What you said at the end, X, you can't hear you. Why does anybody do anything? I don't know, man. I attention. think it's a real... Attention. Attention, see. That's true, too. That's true, too. 456, I see you in the room, my brother. What's good? Peace, peace, everybody. Can y'all hear me good? Definitely, my brother. Go ahead and talk to us. Tell, tell us oh, how man. you feel about this situation. 
I, I'm, I'm just catching the latest and greatest. My phrase told me that she popped back up and said she made it all up. So I'm still processing it myself. I, I, I didn't, you know, I, I was stuck like uh, XL with the toilet paper thing. Like, I don't know. I ain't got too much to offer on this one. I have to wait. Definitely a real awkward situation. Um, I will say this for the listeners. Mental health is real. You know, you can call these hotlines. You can get you some help. Uh, you know, don't wait until you hiding in the forest somewhere and you got to, you know, steal toilet paper and all that. Like, that's just too much. Like, you know you got a problem. Like, it, I know you know you got a problem because she planned that. She planned that. She knew she had a problem when she thought about her X, Y, and Z. But phrase. Back to you, my brother. Yeah, let's go ahead and finish that up. They cloned Tyrone. Anybody seen that? I enjoyed it. I, I feel like it was a obvious piece of work. Anybody see Hold that? on, first. Hold on. Hold on, first. Hold on, first. Say that one more time. Did you say an obvious piece of work, my brother? Yeah, obvious piece of work. Like, uh, for instance, like it was obvious drops in there. I feel like, okay, cool. Like, this is blatant clues to our black people or to whoever's watching that you know there's subliminal you know subliminals all all throughout the movie yeah yeah it was definitely a lot of satire and a lot of uh you know undertones i will say that i enjoyed it myself okay i also okay. enjoyed I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let everybody get it off go ahead pinky rain did you enjoy it I did. Did you see his balls? I, I most definitely saw it. I'm just trying to catch something. Yeah, like y'all make my y'all make my noodles boil Bruh. as my chicken is always simmering. You feel me? Uh, hey, hey, see, see, I'm very comfortable within my sexuality. I don't do none of that. You well, feel keep me? That like, comfortability. That ain't got nothing to do with us. Ain't got nothing to do with us. You see, y'all are exactly the clone of Tyrone. Listen, listen to y'all. Y'all sound like all them other dudes. Yeah, Chill, you. bro. I know exactly what each one of you dudes do. I ain't worried about none of you. Yo, you don't know what I do, son. Four fifty. Four fifty. How you feel about clone Tyrone? Well, I'm actually um just to be honest, transparent with y'all. Uh, I'm actually um, laid up right now. Uh, I'm on the way right now, getting my house together. So I'm in this actual bed while I'm on the phone with y'all. <laughs> and um, if I got the time, I was actually gonna. That was gonna be one of the things I finished and watch. I did this. I did the first handful of minutes to get the vibe of it, but I, because I've seen everyone speaking on it, you know, and um, I don't want to try to use everyone else's opinion to influence me yet. So I'm, I'm still kind of hold out. Okay, I definitely respect that. And I appreciate the support, my brother. You're saying you laying down trying to get your health together and you're still yeah. here with us, man. But you are yeah. definitely in our prayers, man. Speedy recovery. Salute, brother. Salute. You know it. it. Keep my mind up. Salute, baby. brother. Thank y'all. No, thank y'all. They, they, they saying all the, they done did a hundred tests and this and that, but they ain't letting me go yet, too. I'm going to put it together. Hopefully, I'll be out of here in another day. So I'll be all right. Respectfully, my brother. Respectfully. Hey, so, Ron. So, why your noodles right. cooking, yo? All right. Well, this is the thing, man. And and, and, and I totally 100% agree with how Frey said exactly what he said. It was very obvious message. And for me... It wasn't a it wasn't an enjoyable film, but let me explain that. Let me explain that because it was an enjoyable film. But for me, it was more of like it took me down to my own memories, to when I was just stuck. You know what I'm saying? Like just in a what's the word I'm looking for? X man, take take me to school real quick. When stagnated is, is that what I'm stagnated, trying? Stagnated, stuck. I hear what you're going. You My stuck was fine. So I was I was stuck in this one place of my my physical, my mental, my finances, my emotions, 
And that's what I got from that. And But it was like how they keep us there. Like, and that's the obvious what phrase was speaking about, like how they keep us there. Oh, yeah, this is obvious because we attack you through your food, your spirituality, you know what I'm saying, your religion, your music. Like, it was just, it was, it was a great film. It was a great film when you accept it for what it is and you're not looking for the ghetto boys or boys in the hood in it. You know what I'm saying, guys? So I, I definitely love the insight it gave us. But how many people really, I mean, I see people catching it, but how many people really do you thought guys think really caught it that it could change how they move today, tomorrow, and so on and so on? Um, it definitely, I have proof that it went over some people here. Somebody was telling me about the movie and told me that they sprinkled cocaine on the chicken. Right. No. no. See? Yes, that is definitely that is def- that's that's sad dude. Y'all know they clone Jamie, right? Hey. Come hey, on, hey, I knew you was hey. I knew you was coming. Now hey, I knew you was yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, that's what I was gonna say. You know it's a true story, like they clone Jamie. Nah, nah, all right, like, so real. look li- listen, listen. It's real. Listen, y'all just seen him make that statement talking about thank you for the prayers. Like y'all seen him, right? Did y'all not? Yeah. All right, so cool. He looks like he's recovering from something, correct? Yeah. Because he, he is recovering from something. Cloning. Right, 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 Let's right. No, 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 that's fine. It has to be No, 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 that's fine. But we just seen a pic of him and video of him less than two weeks prior. My nigga did not look sickly. You don't go from on, that on to that boat. in two weeks and getting in the right. car. So it's one thing to come back from months looking sickly, but my that, nigga, we that, just seen you not looking sickly. That I don't think that if it's the video I saw, I don't think that video was him. Well, either okay, I, hold I'm on. saying, but see, that's the thing. Even if it's not him, that's the clone. Like he's already had an appearance where you looking visibly different, like visibly different, my nigga. And, and that's you know less, clone that's goofy, less, th- that's on, less than two weeks. I don't want to get started on the Yeezy. I don't, I, I'm trying to see how Yeezy back, but like for real, Jamie though, like you. Hey yo, that's a clone really, Yeezy. I, I need y'all to. I need y'all. To, okay, I'm gonna ask a question, and I need a serious question. To that answer. is the Holy Clone trilogy. Yeezy, P, Gucci, P, P, Jamie. P, can you stop with your trolling for a minute? I got a serious question. Why? Why do you clone Jamie Fox? Cause you can't control him anymore. I can understand your aspect far as the money he makes. A lot of people money. He makes more money people here, here than gone. The creativity. I I can understand all that. But at the same time, the whole thing about Hollywood is control. You can't go to Hollywood unless they can control you. And if you are in Hollywood, they will put a limit or a cap on your career. Everybody has said it, whether it's comedians or actors. So if you can no longer control them and they know something about you. They can't necessarily get rid of you because, like you said, it makes them too much money. It's a lot of different reasons why, but if we're not in that position, we can't put it together. Okay, I'm going to answer it like this. It is what it is out there, bro. Like, that's, 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 that that place is different. It's very different. I believe now with just the things I've seen over my lifetime, I believe it's there's some devilish stuff going on in Hollywood. Like I mean, I can't put a thing on it, like what it may be or like but he does look awkwardly different than he looked two weeks ago. Two weeks ago my man was healthy, he still looked buff. You know what I'm saying? Like he just came out the Miami Vice goddamn movie or whatever it was. And the other day, the joint they just showed him the other day. He looked like a a a, a little African gray bird in the face. Like it was his face. Was know, um, to bird. me, to me personally, this is me. He doesn't look different. He may he like he may have got some pounds off. That happens when you're sick for an extended amount of time. 
it happened to me. I spent maybe two weeks in the hospital and lost damn near 80 pounds. So I just no, want y'all to know I'm, I'm the clone double X. I just want y'all to know that. But no, X, no, X, let no, me no. ask you this. X, he X, was X. Healthy he was ago. out the he hospital. Was he was healthy. Out the hospital, healthy. Two weeks later, then he makes a statement not looking healthy. I can understand. Like, can you send me? Can you send me a screenshot of the video? Because I don't think I've seen it. The one with him on the boat. With the, home, the one with the him one, on the boat. And, and I think they got one with him getting in the car. I don't know if that's a video or a picture. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't seen it. I have two questions. Hello, I got two questions. Question number one: With the confirmation that the two sightings was actually him. That's number one. Question number two, and I'm going to be quiet, is who says he shot that video right then and there? He said, I believe, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, if, if I'm really not mistaken, I feel like in the video where he, when he shot it, he said, you seen me out on the boat or you seen me out doing something, you you know, I'm just getting my health back together. So you're going to see me. I feel like he said something like that in the video, if I'm not mistaken, uh, if you watch it, I feel like he confirmed it just himself. This is the only confirmation I needed. His daughter was sitting on the front of the boat. In plain sight, sitting right on the front of the boat. He was right Question. behind her in the deck in the chair. Question. Leads kind of to a bigger topic, but it's still on topic. Are there any African Americans in a position of power that have not been tainted by the Illuminati or Hollywood? I'm not going to go as much as the Illuminati, but I mean, no, of course not. X, I got another question. So, in the only way to have be black and have any type of influence, you got to sell yourself. That's what you're telling. Oh no, 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 no! I'm thinking you're just asking me—is that what happened? No, you don't. You know no, you I'm don't. asking. No, because if I, I can go down the list and our most powerful black people, we say this about all of them in some form or fashion. It's some type of conspiracy with, them, based on what other African Americans say. That's my observation. Well, the thing is, all right, so. How can I say it? You know how they say guilty by association? It, the thing is, if you plan a game, if you decide to play their game, even if it's for your own cause or your own purpose, your own views, you're still playing their game. So no matter what the I can understand, like some of our leaders, like that's an asterisk that we shouldn't necessarily have beside their name. But essentially, they still are playing their game. Martin Luther King before he died, had a speech that no one talks about where he say, I feel like I led my people into a burning building. Because of how he talked, talking about us freedom, letting, you know, don't fight and all that. At the end, he was he was regretting that shit, but he played their game. It's hard to step uh, back and come back when you play their game because they're playing it better than you. Question, P, P, you the marketing guy, P. Uh, do you think that the people who created the movie may have created this narrative to help push the film? I absolutely think I'm not going to put it on the people that I already did the research. The film, the X. But I'm I'm going to go as far as to say there were more eyes on this movie because of that Jamie Foxx narrative than not. Like Jamie Foxx was the hot topic. I absolutely think they capitalized off it without capitalizing off it, if that makes sense. But, 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 but hold on, hold on. Let's, 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 let's back up. Let's rewind for a second. Okay. Let's talk about how the powers that be do work. Right. And then let's talk about how let's go into the part where he said, we control you, right? Like we control you. We know what you want, but we're going to control you at the end of the day. Whether if you, getting a lot of money, you living in poverty, you live in middle class, whatever it is, we're still going to control you, right? So, Charles, I got a question for you before no, you No, 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 I got to touch on, but you will get that question off. I got to touch on. I remember. All right. Let's, let, no, let's, let, no, this is a real conversation. So I remember my brother, my brother, double, double XF, my brother, was willing, was willing, was all in, 10 toes down. He was all in to take a bad deal, right? He was willing to take a bad deal, 
right? Learn to, and, and, and then say to himself, well, I just want to take this joint, get in the game, learn it, and then do it myself. However, it probably wouldn't have worked like that because like Fraser just said, they know how to play the game better than we do. So you would have probably, probably, I'm not saying this is a fact, but let's just be, let's talk about our mindset back then being young, coming from nothing and trying to get to where we're trying to get to. How many more bad deals do you think you would have took, my brother, if they are in control of you? Let's, let's, let's think about that for a moment. So it's, let's, let's just say it's levels to it, right? Does anybody agree with me in any fashion? Levels to, a, keep going. levels to what exactly, though, Ron, what you're saying? Like how, how they control you. Like, I could be willing to take that bad deal, right? Because I want my mm-hmm. people to eat. I want to eat and I want my people to eat. You feel me? But then mm-hmm. I get tied into that deal. But, you know, right behind that deal, there's another bad deal, right? Like, right. okay, it might be more money, but it's something still bad about this deal. So right. how many more bad deals do I take until, and then when I say, Oh no, nah, I'm not going for this no more. You're not gonna control me. Yeah. I already know what's about to happen. And yeah. but it's level it is levels to it. It could be uh, it okay. could be my death, it could be a cocaine overdose, it could be a numerous right. amount of things. When, yeah, when when they can't kill you off, you know, they may try to discredit your your whole being, so everything you say and do is gonna be discredited if they can't just straight up, you know, criminalize you. Rem- physically remove you. I mean, we've seen this since what Bob Marley, the yeah Buddha, the whoever, you know. Yeah, yeah. See, and it's not just the Jamie Foxx thing. I'm just talking about people with influence. When you have an mm-hmm. influence, because they created that influence. Because at the end of the day, you can be talented as you please, but somebody's still going to create and critique you because they're going to control you. Always remember that. Like, let's really think about that. Mm-hmm. I think, and that's when you talk about the levels of influence. Hold on, I didn't want to cut the line. I know I'm the gear from the second Yeah, Pete's going to get his question. I'm going to definitely let him get his question. You can go ahead. But I, I, I just think that control is parallel. The levels of control that they, like, issue out is parallel to your influence. What I mean, mm-hmm. basically, is if we recognize your influence ain't but so much, then we don't really feel the need to intervene in terms of control but once your influence starts to reach that certain level mm-hmm. then I think that's when that comes into play like they're not going through certain means to influence most yeah. death and what I mean to control most death where his influence only hits a certain degree whereas in uh, the JVs of the world and certain other people who have a, a further reach influence wise within um, our communities. Right. That, you know what I mean? So the control levels are parallel to the amount of influence that they feel that you have on the Because right. they need this thing to go a certain way. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Go ahead, Pete, get your question off. All right. Because we definitely got some bigger fish to fry, man. We got to talk about this country, so I can't wait for that topic. Um, mm, so, mm. you know, the Black Ma- Black Lives Matter this, we got to talk about that. Um, so, I know XM trolling. So, one, Vaughn, I need you to put a name on the bullet. Because we keep rolling with this narrative of they. Who is they, bro? Like, we keep, we, 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 we keep making people that got blood just like me and you. Maybe got a little more money. Just, just missed out, you know, this character, this villain. Who is they? We talking about the government? Are we talking about exec? Like, who is they? And I see what y'all did. Y'all moved the goalpost. Y'all got away from the cloning, and y'all got the control. Control, <laughs> I'm with you. Control, I'm 100% with you. You might, I'm a tamper with something to keep control. I'm a I'm a side with X on this. I don't get none from cloning Jamie Foxx. I'd rather clone Jay Z or Kevin Hart. Who are we talking about? If I'm talking about who nah. the people, give me over. Nah. What what I'm gonna do? Nah. Jamie Foxx, bro. Come on, nah, bro. Michael Jackson. And then I'm gonna let you know. Like Jay Z ain't Michael Jackson. Is that clone Michael Jackson? Hold on, hold on. First of all, 
We can't clone Michael. He's been dead too long. It's too late. Nah, nah, Vaughn. Don't go to that. Don't go no, to no, the no, joke. No, Put the name no, on the bullet. No. Who is well, they? Oh, the oh, you want to know who they is still? They it would be easy. It's one percent of the wealthy. I mean, we all know who controls the world. One percent of the world. Yeah. The they I mean, is, like you said, that's the Rothschilds. That's the it's yeah. the same day that's been in place forever. The same day. Nah, people you know who the day was when he said it. Yeah. Why the same day yeah, that that help that help control with organized human trafficking? It's the same day that knows where the plane from Malaysia went. It's the same day. You know, hey, P. A. Hold on, P. I got your back. P. Ain't hey, asked y'all because he ain't think y'all ain't know. Pain too. Nobody know about that. He Nobody. asking y'all because he's trying to teach y'all how to properly argue. You you trying to teach us how to properly argue? Oh yeah. Who's Are we? we arguing with you, bro? <laughs> you, you, are, you are absolutely like you. You come on, you, come on, man. You know, you know the one percent of the wealthy, bro. Like y'all know this, right? Like y'all. Yeah, we had to make sure you had to make sure you knew. That's all because you didn't put a name on it. Don't be yeah, trying I'm to save people. Put a name on it. Put a name on it. You know. Nah, but nah, wealthy. but even hold on, hold on. Even the one percent wealthy don't explain why Jamie Foxx will be that important. P, 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 P. Y'all not giving it to me. No, no. My, here, here's my thing, P. It doesn't have to make sense to you, P. It does not have to make sense to you, P. You know why? Because you've never been in a position of privilege. Why would it make sense? No, I'm so serious. I'm, no, P, P, because you're black, P. It doesn't matter how much privilege you have. You've never been on the up and up. I'm you still made biscuits, P. Is what I'm saying. You wasn't. You didn't get the gun. You still made biscuits. What does that have to do with Jamie Foxx? What I'm saying okay. is, you saying what? you need to know a why. My thing is, your why doesn't matter because it, it's. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't make sense to you if you're not trying to do the same things that they're doing. Have your family had generation like ten? A hundred, two hundred years of money. We've never experienced these type of things. So, oh, no, 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 no. I got you. I got. I see the play that you try to do. Right. I'm gonna wrap it up with this. You telling me I'm doled out, and I'm gonna let a whole culture know I cloned somebody, and then he come back and say, "Yo, I was sick." Bye, bye, bye. And then Netflix has a movie that's doing well. But hold on. You got to remember this before we close us. this. Well, we, we got, hold on, hold on. We got, we got, no, uh, hold on. I'm, let me talk to you. Let me talk Shut to you. Up. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you before we slide about this thing. Because y'all running with these oh. days. Some of these days is low on the totem pole and high with the music. And see, then some I'm, of these days really care about what's globally going on. It's two different buckets, my boy. No, don't believe the hype. Don't believe yeah, the hype. Say it with his chest. He thinks he's hype. He, because see, the, the thing about hold on, P. Let's let's be real. Because see, at the I'm end like, of the day, I these, was born you sound crazy. You sound crazy. But anyway, listen, listen, real talk. These people will let us know whatever it is they want us to know. There you go. No the problem. No is, on the bullet. What you? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yo, Vaughn, Vaughn, Vaughn. Hold on. No, hold on. Hold on. No, no. Let me get this one off. They will let us know anything to our face. Every day, in any movie, TV show, music, whatever they want to put it in, bro, they will let you know exactly what's going on. And you know why they don't care if we know? Because ain't nobody gonna move and do nothing about it. Let's just be real. What are we gonna do? Keep marching? That's all we do: march hey, and burn our own shit down. Bond, Let's hold on. I, I got a question. Then we can get off this. Um, yeah. Okay, and I'm not trying to compare us to the one percent in no form and fashion. Because I understand what you're saying, Phrase. you got a valid point. But if we break it down to a very small scale, let's talk about 757 Hip Hop. If you talk about 757 Hip Hop, independent artists, we were once the 1% of that. Y'all follow me? No. I Break it down to 757 Hip Hop. What we were doing, we were considered the 1% of that. Okay. Now, what are all name some of the things that we heard about ourselves and what we was doing that you know won't true, but people still believe was true. 
a spiritually yeah. way. We we talking about two different levels, dog. No, we, I, I, the first thing I said, Bond, was it's two different levels. But like mm-hmm. Black said, that we can't. Black said we can't talk about that. So I want to talk about something we know, so we can get a, a accurate comparison. That's all I'm doing, it's, it's, and I'm yeah, right. No. Don't dance, or don't dance away yeah. from it, because I'm right. You see where I'm going? I I do see where you're going, but I just don't think it adds up to the situation. It, it indulge. Can you indulge me for a moment? Okay, let's go. Well, oh, some of the things we heard that you knew weren't true. A lot of them. Exactly. I digress. We good. We can move on now. No. See, that's trifling. You that's ain't trifling. got the answer, Sway. You ain't it's, got the answer. I don't need an answer. The proof is in the pudding, bro. What you think? What you think? What you... Man, hey, praise. Move on to another subject, man. We'll come back. I won. You see that peak? You see that peak? I'm ain't the greatest. Winning. You ain't winning. It just ain't I'm no the greatest. To, uh, it's no need to argue with you today. You it's ain't no got the answer. Exactly. Mm, mm. Where we going next? Where we going next, praise? You see, they ain't try me yet. You ain't try me. They ain't try me with that shit, suppose. Anyways. I, I, um, hey, exactly. Let's go ahead and hit this diss song, P. Which one? What's that? The this song. Stride oh, in a small town. Y'all want me to introduce this one? Yes, sir, please. Because you brought it to the forefront. All right. Earlier this week, there was a song, a country song called Try That in the Small Town, where they basically went down a list of things that happen in more urban areas. When I say urban, I do mean democratic areas. I do mean black areas. I do mean hoods. It's, uh, he doesn't say any of these things. But just like the movie, there's a lot of undertones there. Um, robbing old ladies, snatching their purses, uh, spitting in police face, protesting, riding. Try that in a small town. That's what he said. And the song was actually banned. The video was banned from the Country Music Network because I think they could predict the smoke that was going to come behind it. Uh, just a small fact, uh, me and Pete think it's a bop. Like, the song is actually kind of dope. That don't mean we agree with the message. That's not what I'm saying, but the song and the structure of what a song is, kind of dope. Uh, but I open the floor to, to, to y'all. When I say dope, I'm talking strictly from the uh, songwriter's perspective, not messaging. But I want to open up to the room and how y'all feel about the record. Dude's name is Jason uh, Aldean. I wish Phrase had a clip of it. My bad, Phrase. I should have got the record. Nah, give me a second. Two seconds. I'm loading it up now. Okay. I like so that about I'm... you, Phrase. That's why you so, better than Vaughn. So. <laughs> wow. He, to start a he could war. never. He could never. He I come over there. Look, I got you. I got, him, I got him turning on his own partner. You see what I did I there, Pete? They could never, never do us like that. I, I ain't never turning on them. I'm just saying together we really form. No, nah, don't try to fix it now. Don't try to fix it now. I said he could never, but together. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's Bill, my boy. Now. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Suck a punch somebody on a sidewalk Carjacking old lady at a red light Pull a gun on the owner of a liquor store You think it's cool, act a fool if you like Cuss out a cop, spit in his face Stomp on the flag and light it up Yeah, you think it's tough Well, try that in a small town See how far down the road Around here we take care of our own You cross that line It won't take long for you to find out I recommend you don't Try that in a small town That's enough. Bark. So I mean like I concur. Man, I mean, I don't know how to feel about it. I, I feel like he, I feel like, I feel like how he fit. Mm. Like, Let me ask you this, Vaughn. Do you think it's a bop? 
it's, a, it's got a nice little bop to it. It's got a nice little bop to it. But I feel like him, though. But w- why don't we feel like that? Like, as a culture, why don't we feel like, yo, every time you come down here, you kill a black man. Yeah, nigga, this our hood, this our small town. But we ain't doing none of that. We so mad. Not not saying the guys up here, because I don't know y'all feelings and opinions, but we as a culture so mad about the song. Nah, you going somewhere else, though, Vaughn. Keep cooking. I see where you're going. Right. You, you're saying we should be outraged yeah. about the same About behavior. the same thing. About the right. same thing. I hear you. And that goes mm. for any any race and nationality. But let's be real. The Chinese do it in their hood. The Jewish people, they do it in their hood. Communities, mm. whatever they want to call them. Right? You can't go in the Jewish community doing none of that without them standing on their toes. Right? Holding it down. We ain't doing none of that. We're going we to go walk and march and tear our own shit up. That's what we're going to go to. You know what I mean? Now, now as far as, yes, there are plenty of undertones. Yes, there is, uh, uh, I'm going to call it a subliminal message in a way. But at the same time, I, I get it. All right, if we come down there, I already know what to expect because you told me in your small town not to come play with you. We ain't doing that around here. We ain't doing that. I, 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 you know what, Vaughn? Like to that point, Paul. I feel like we are, but we doing that to each other. Like we, we, we rep in the corner we don't own, mm. and I'll threaten, I'll threaten my brothers and sisters, but I won't threaten nobody outside the coast. Mm. You cooking, P? You cooking? Sound like that four hundred years we was talking about? Hey, wasn't it though? That was what? Two weeks ago, won't it? Yeah. Yeah. I have um I have dual feelings about this, let me tell you. Uh y'all know I have a tendency to look at things outside of the box and analyze it from all aspects. Um the song doesn't necessarily bother me in the context of the song. My fear is that the group of people that's going to uh, latch on to the song and use this as a motivational uh uh, uh, anthem to do dumb stuff. For example, Trump did, I don't think Trump is necessarily a hardcore racist, but I think he plays to them because he knows they support him. And I feel the same about this song. I feel like those people are going to use, I can see them. If this song was out when they ran in the white house, this would have been the song they would have been playing. Am I making sense? Yes. For example, I don't think when they made Nuck Nuck If You Buck, they was like, yeah, black people going to get shot to this. But they did. I think that's just the issue in, in general with creative period, though, because you got to think a lot of times when you're creating your art, I think we should should be more responsible with the potential outcomes. I think when the young ladies that are promoting the things that they promote in their rap songs. Now they're not looking at, well, man, this is going to, you know, uh, have an impact on the young, you know, ladies, the young generation of women out there. They just kind of, you know, everybody's having fun and games until it ain't no fun and games until they see that impact. And then they get older and reflect like that. You know what I mean? So kind of to your point originally, like those guys was creating it. But now there's going to be some people that's going to really take it and, and, and make it their 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 go-to song to 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 just correspond to bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But that's like how you feel, story, Black? Though, like you know. Um, I don't know. I say I'm I'm a little bit of so from a writing perspective. I understand how y'all feel when you say it's a bot, just because, I mean, it. given if you was to take his color out of it, let's say, and you just put that on a different beat with a different aggression of how you're saying it, um, you take it differently. So, I mean, I, I, I think that's solid from that standpoint. Um, but You got a point. You got a black. I see where you're going. So you saying if, let's say, a black blues artist from the country did the same record, same lyrics don't change it up at all it might not be any outcry 
Yeah. I, I mean, I, see, see, where I think, like, I feel like shit is on purpose. Like, I, I feel like people, like, when you see the shit, like, my thing is, you've seen this video before it went out. When you seen this video, you had a, like, everybody's thoughts was the same when they seen the video. Yeah. It doesn't matter what race you are. Everybody's thought was the same when they seen the video. So when you made this song and you seen your video, you should have been like, nah, that ain't what I'm, that ain't what I'm trying to do. But that wasn't the case. So now I take it to a different level. Like, okay, what is your reasoning and your purpose behind this? Because you intentionally wanted this shit to look like that. So now when I look at you and say, yeah, you know, maybe not. Now I say, well, shit may be. Because now I, I can't I can't take that intention away from it because you intentionally put it out there to look like this. Yeah, yeah, I I, I feel you. If you he could have made the video a whole nother way, but he chose to use urban images with uh, certain imagery. I, I I get what you're saying. So yeah, it's a little it's a little back and forth there for me. Well, I wonder what the. I just thought it was peculiar to me that the Country Music Network pulled it down. You would think that's who would back it, but they ain't want no smoke. Not even. Well, no, nah, because you even. know, you know, we got, we got, we got a lot of our own in country music right now, and they be smoking the chart, you know, and like we was talking about, you know, control and people who making money for people. Man, listen, and man, we Jamie canceled, Anderson, one of the biggest we cancel culture. All corporations and companies distance themselves the first time somebody have any type of heat. It doesn't matter. We see it mostly with the black people, but trust me, when you seen Johnny Depp have some heat, that nigga lost shit too. Like it doesn't matter your race. Yeah, like they don't want the heat, my nigga. Like so, I, I feel like that's that's just more so a money a money saving thing as opposed to them really actually caring about anything. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, what like you said, it's not so much that they care. It's more so I don't want to take the chance of losing that consumer or that demographic. Yeah. Thanks. Now, I will say this. The artist had a great argument. His argument was pretty good um, about, and I think he was speaking more about hip-hop hop and uh, what's allowed in videos and what's allowed to play on the airwaves. And why uh, why is he being, you know, basically banned for his message when certain messages are like celebrated in in our music? And I I, I didn't I know I missed a rebuttal. I actually didn't have a rebuttal for that, bro. But let me just give to you, be honest. Let me give you another layer of it because I, when I watched it, I watched it. So even this, the clips that he used, I mean, like they was all white people. The riots. You the think riots, that was on purpose? Like absolutely, that's what I'm saying. Like, what is the what the fuck is the intention? Because it's it's like you you're getting something from it visually, bro. You hear the song and then you watch it. Like you're towing that line. Like and, and when you tow the line, nobody tows the line on purpose. Most motherfuckers pick a side because they agree with a side. When you tow the line, that means you just don't want to say your side. I don't believe nobody says I don't want to pick a side. No, they just prefer not to say their side. So that's that's where I'm, that's where I'm struggling with. Like, what what is your intention here? That's why it's bugging me out. Mm. I don't think rural, a lot of I can't speak for all, but a large percentage of rural white America have just as much disdain for inner city whites as they do African Americans and Hispanics, and they kind of view it all the same because a lot of those people have similar views. Mm-hmm. Another yeah. thing is, um, you know, then we can wrap this up because uh, I'm, I'm sure we got some more topics. We only got about ten minutes here. Um, just to wrap it up, another thing is, I think um, that's part of it. If, if I may say, that's part of the genius because he kind of put the art out there and just let you interpret it the way you want to. Like if he don't never say nothing, he could always hide. Like, look, man, I put the art out there. This is how I felt. These the clips we chose. Y'all take it how y'all want to. I can't tell you how to interpret or do with the song. You know, it's a danger in that. I agree with XL, but I mean, art is art, man. Freedom of speech. Where are we going next, Bray? Man, what's going on with Yeezy, man? You caught me with a left. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I know you was waiting on this easy topic, man. Um, so pulling it up as we speak. Uh, you, y'all know quietly uh, the 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 big Easter. I like to call them. Uh, quietly has uh, you know worked some out with uh, Adidas where they're at least going to sell the inventory. So according to the Financial Times, the first batch of Kanye's Yeezys went on sale in June and sold 4 million pairs of sneakers within 48 hours. Adidas offered 15 Yeezy models ranging from $70 to $260 for customers to cop, and most of them went fast. In total, the company ranked in $565 million for the online sales. And a portion of those profits go to Kanye West. So 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 they got so they deal so they back on with Kanye. No, they struck a deal to they agreed to get rid of the merchandise. Correct, because they still got it. You know they 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 had them to release in the warehouse, so they had they had mad inventory. Um, so they talked to Ye, they talked to uh Ye, they sat out and they just agreed on you know fair split or something like that. That wasn't public. Um, so they put them out in June. And that boy, that boy, yay, man. That name, bro, is strong, bro. Is it the name or the mind? Because I remember this conversation a couple months ago when y'all said the name was crazy. Man, that, that makes nah, me No, I mean, but it, 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 it's the brand. I mean, it's, it's the brand. It's, it's the brand or if he's smart. The brand. It's bigger than the brand because anybody can have a brand, but if nah. I can control you, nah, nah, you can't get nah. none of this. It's false. Yo, this, this man point, said they can't control me no more. Spalls, it's the brand. You know why it's the brand? Cause Kanye ain't here no more, bro. Kanye gone okay. too, my nigga. Like, tr- okay. trust me. Listen, <laughs> listen. We bro. know Kanye. Oh, nah, like, oh, all right. So, oh, like, listen. I ain't oh, gonna get into man. that. But check it though. Oh, One thing man. we know about Ye is million. We, like, we know hey, about hey, Ye. Hey, hey. He just got that much. He ain't say nothing. Pray. He ain't gotta yeah. say nothing. Nigga, we know how we Ye. heard about it. You see we how we know heard about him, right? He don't stop right, right, talking. Okay. Uh, he, he ain't got to talk all the time. He don't stop, though. He talk. His whole you know, career, like, he's then, never stopped talking, bro. This yeah. nigga is missing. Yeah. I won't get into some it, of your though. Yo, some of your, I don't, some look, of your, hold on, hold on. I, I don't want to do the crazy talk about Ye, but this, this who y'all want to know who Kanye is? Kanye is the lame kid in the hood who got the PlayStation so everybody tolerate him because he got the PlayStation. Or the lame in school with the car, so you cool with him because he's your ride. That's Kanye, yo. That's what we doing. That, does, that doesn't take away from his genius. That don't take away from being smart. That don't take away nothing. But when you make a kid who was uncool, cool, he's doing, he does things to be be justified and solidified amongst people that's mixed in with his genius. I think that's the issue. Not he can you can be both at the same time. You can be a uh, genius lame. Well, I, I feel like if you're a genius, you are weird and lame and to some point just because no genius is to, to fit in with society. Like no genius ever fits in. No matter how much they try. So But, but he keeps trying to. He wants that validation, which I mean, is I mean, the issue. That's, that's his own fault, but it once that's just you know what I'm saying? Why you got to come on podcast, talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Because niggas don't understand to accept themselves for who they are. They, I, hey, I feel like that's everybody hey, to some degree. Listen, listen. We got five minutes. Is there another topic we need to be talking about? Yeah, what else we got? And don't we got something to talk about Gilly and, and the dude that, 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 that tried to like bash him on the internet or something? You two talking to mm. Oh, Hassan. Hassan Campbell. Yeah, yeah, oh, hey. he's he's lame for that, bro. He hey, four fifty. Four fifty. Give me your best one minute and forty five seconds on that topic, oh. real quick. Goofies be goofy, and now Goofies got platform to to spew their goofy rhetoric amongst the other goofy tribes, and now they got you know a goofy culture. So that's mm-hmm. it. Hey, double X. Hey. How you feel about that? Um. I'm not a I'm not a man of violence at all, but when I saw it, I wanted somebody to punch him in the face, yo. I, I wanted that man to be punched in the face, like square in the nose. 
and I want his nose to be broken. You don't do that to a man that lost a child, and it ain't too soon. You don't do that ever. Because losing a child is something that don't don't leave you. And I'm speak, and I'm making assumptions because I don't know. Thank the Lord, I don't know. But you, you don't you don't do that. You don't do that. Somebody need to put hands on that man because that that was ridiculous. It was clout chasing. It was everything the kids say. Mm. But um, before we get out of here, look, please, I'm going to let y'all finish cooking on the subject. I know we got to get out of here. But after y'all finish, please, please bring it back to me because Vaughn got to come to the front of the congregation. Y'all will not get out of here like that easy. You would oh, not no, get off that easy, Vaughn. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, Vaughn. You know what I'm talking about. Hey, hey, my brother. I wasn't even Hey, peace, assalamu alaikum, and blessings. I wasn't even thinking like that. However. You're trying to get out of here. No, 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 no. I was, just, I was just cooking. Like I'm trying to cook on this joint right Any, quick. We anybody go else got something to say about? Yeah, Asan? yeah, yeah, I think yeah, his name yeah, is yeah, yeah. Whatever. Hey, so, so this matter. dude, this dude is crazy. He's reckless, and he's putting a dot on his back. He's basically putting the target on his back. Period. Uh, I don't know. Why he did it? What they call it, call it clout chasing? Like this how this how much I'm really out to do. This deflection right. though too, Vaughn. Real quick, bro. We can't forget the fact. This is, I think, what he truly wants is us to forget the fact that this is the man who had an ongoing relationship with Africa Van Bader. So anytime that he can bring things to the forefront to deflect from that's who he is, I think mm. that's what he's choosing to do. So it ain't even just the clout. It's a the, it's a deflection from let's not forget who you are and mm. not wanting to really unpack that, which he should be doing in somebody's therapy chair instead of doing this, this like you said, foul, trifling stuff that he did. So, yeah. And, and, exactly. and, and, and nothing against, and nothing against what I'm about to say too, Vaughn, they just put out there like, like his, um, I ain't looking through what his, what his son had to say, but his son is trans. And yeah. His son has something to say, and you know, like, that's nothing against anybody that's trans, but that's frowned upon in hip-hop and frowned upon being a father in the son relationship. So I'm kind of interested to see what his son had to say about you being a dad because you basically said you killed your son being that you rich and your son was in Philly. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, it's out of, it's way out of bounds, man. Mad disrespect to that man, man. Mad disrespect to that man. All praise. And all my prayers and condolences to Gilly, man. I mean, definitely in our prayers and thoughts. XL was good, baby. I wasn't even trying. Hey, I wasn't even. Yeah, two minute warning. Go get the smoke. All right. So I want to say I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it quick. I'm gonna make it quick. Now I want I don't want to be misrepresented. So I'm gonna say this first. I'm a huge Nas fan. Nas has a permanent spot in my top five. That's not probably going anywhere ever. Nas, really in my top three. But I made a bold prediction. I called Vaughn, who is the biggest Nas fan I know, before the album dropped. And I said, Vaughn, Nas' album would not be better than Killer Mike's album. And he took the challenge. So my question to you today, Vaughn, and God is watching you. Jesus is watching you, Vaughn. Jesus and Allah and Buddha are watching you. All right. Who has the better album, Killer Mike or not? Killer Mike got the better album overall. Thank you, Vaughn. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now we no, can pass it on the room. Wait a second. Don't let him get on, off that easy. What else? He wasn't know? looking at the tech group. He went in the tech group and said Dave East has the album of the year. Oh, that. No, no, oh, no, fact. no, no, no. No, no, no. No, you're hold on, reaching. Hold on. Let me break it down. Let me break it down. I didn't realize I had 24 songs. I got I got disappointed when the fucking album kept going. I was like, why is this shit still going? <laughs> I kept saying, why is this fucking shit still going? I thought it was like the first seven songs I heard. I was like, yo, this shit hard. And that shit was like 13, 14. I said, nah, this shit, this shit getting worse. Sounds like Killer Mike still has the crown, man. We on the 7 o'clock hour. I just want to wrap up and say salute to Magic. I feel like he the biggest owner in sports right now. That's why I put it there. 
he owns a, and he owns a percentage, whether big or small, of an NBA team, an NFL team, a MLB team, and a WNBA team. Salute the Magic, yo. And now he owns the Commandos. Forgot to say with his firm. Salute the Magic, yo. And salute for having HIV for twenty five years, yo. Yo. It's, it, yo, he beat them charges. Um, look, man, we here every week, 6 p.m. Respect your goats, your host, Falls, Frey. Pretty soon they're going to be doing the intro and the outro and doing everything so I can just relax and cook. Um, Don't forget to download that Goat Verse app. See the finale of Goat Bars and Verses is up there right now. We chose 10 MCs from different cities. You don't want to miss it. That's hosted by Jay Skizzle. Download the app on your Roku TV, Amazon Fire Six Qs, whatever you got. Um, app is for free. You ain't got to pay nothing, man. Um, I am the greatest debater, COP. The GOAT Talk Live Season 4 is coming back very, very soon. We're cooking up now. I smoked double XL. I think we did 10 episodes. I smoked him nine out of the 10. So just show up. It's Nobody believes that. Out, and I'm out. Hey. Go ahead, Ed. Let's go around the room. Hey, I want to say, uh, Vaughn, I, and I think everybody agrees with me. I love what you're doing up here, but we demand, we demand that you retire. The, the, the cook in your noodle line, you can't say that anymore. Retire it. Put it in the bleachers, in the rafters. It goes in the rafters. It's done. It's over. I got you. Uh, Praise. I appreciate what you're doing, man. Keep it up. 450, we love you, brother. Get better. Um, You know, we talk all the time. When it's me, you definitely get me motivation. So I'm here to get you some. And we need you better because you are are the first artist that we unanimously pick for the next season of Goat Balls and, and, and Versus. So you, you're you going to be one of the 10 the next go around, and we, we need you. We need you there, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's all I got. You already know what it is, man. The chicken with the rice, the rice with the chicken. Shout out to everybody in the room. Shout out to Goat Talk. Shout out to Respect the Goats. Make sure y'all check in every other Tuesday. We right here at 6 p.m. Me and my man, Phrase. Those other two dudes, Double XL, CEO, P. Day Lange, my man 450, and Pinky Ring, always in the building. <laughs> we right here. We do this phrase. Rock with me. Got to throw shots at the throne. I get it. Listen, listen here, Skip. Listen here, Skip. What you got, phrase? Shit, I ain't got shit. Let's go ahead and hit that round robin before we dip out. Well, shit, I feel like everybody will now, nah, I guess, for the listeners. Go ahead and start it off. Yo, www.algo, everything. Come shot with me, man. See me if you need to see a vendor. You feel me? 4 fifth, what you got? Yo, yo I'm going to need you to text me that, bro, so I can start. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> Peace and love, y'all. Um, everything's still the same. 450 S I X X. Uh, the album for TV Pit Drop is on my Instagram link in my bio, plus my other um, seven song project. It be seven or eight, eight song project. It's one called Deja Voodoo. That's up there. Plus, we got the battles and the freestyles, all of that. You can look on my IG link or hit me up in the inbox. Either way, I can get you to the music. And we got plenty of the good stuff coming. Plus, I'm ready to cook up, so I will be. Locked and loaded for uh, the next season of the Gold Bars and Bursts, for sure. Appreciate appreciate you, my brother. Get back. X, what you doing? Go ahead, Fraser. Everybody else cook. Well, shit, catch me on Tell My Story. Anywhere you can find podcasts, catch me on Instagram. It's Fraser. Releasing episodes every Tuesday. Starting back up in about two weeks. Get with me. All right, fellas. It's a wrap. All right, fellas. Have a good one. All right.